Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is our lesson one on Catalan automation tool concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to the Catalan automation tool by explaining what is Catalan and how can we use this uh, for automating the test cases and what are all the different platforms it supports and what are all the different strengths this Catalan tool has what are, what are all the different weaknesses it has right and how it is really helpful in testing industry okay uh, please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts okay so what are all the platforms that does Catalan supports? So Catalan supports automating the web applications and also you, you can automate API, REST services and SOAP services. And also you can automate uh, mobile applications and you can also automate the desktop applications as well. Okay. And it is very very easy for us to install and set up the Catalan automation tool okay so all you need to do is download the zip file from the Catalan official website and then unzip the zip file and start using it that's simple it is in installation and setting up the Catalan okay hope you understand so you need not to do any other configurations. The tool itself takes care of your Selenium dependencies or APM dependencies or anything. The tool itself takes care of everything. You need not to add any dependencies separately, right? So it the tool itself takes care of all the dependencies. Okay. And the Catalan tool is very versatile in nature. That means it has an option to spy the object. So as same as the QTP, you can identify, capture and store all on-screen objects by using object spying. And also you can view in detail every single property, method, field and events of the locator. Okay. So there is also another option of record and playback. Basically, whenever you start recording, you need not to code anything or you need not to add a step manually. You can just record the entire actions that you perform for a particular test case and then you can play back. Okay. And when you are recording, if you want to stop in middle, you can stop in middle and start working on working from that particular step manually. Okay, and also it is very flexible. It has a flexible test design options. So there are three options. Either you can add the steps manually or you can use a scripting mode where you directly start scripting by using Java and Selenium methods or you can record and playback which records the entire scripting and manual steps at the back end. So whenever you record the test, right? It records manual steps and also it records the scripting. Okay. So these are all the different advantages by using Catalan automation tool. And also you can perform extensive data driven testing. It supports multiple data sources like Excel files, CSV files and databases with effective parameterization to minimize the test coverage. Basically, you can get the test data from all these different sources. And also, it has a fast scripting with keyword driven testing. That means this is this particular Catalan tool uses the rich set of custom keywords to cut down the time to create and execute your automated tests. So what are all the keywords it has? I'm going to explain you. So now how to perform data driven testing? How can we use this keyword driven uh, testing? And also it supports the parallel testing. It supports the cross platform testings, cross browser testings, right? And also you can basically 
create test suits and also you can create uh, uh, sorry you can actually it supports the continuous integration tool basically you can export the code the whatever the code you are building in catalan services right catalan tool that you can basically push to git git repository or azure repositories right and also you can create pipelines by using jenkins or by using azure devops as well so it supports continuous integration as well okay so i'm going to show all these things how can you connect to the jenkins how can you perform uh, cd ci cd pipelines you know how can we do uh, web automation how can we do mobile automation and how can we perform uh, service level automation right i'm going to show one by one in each lesson okay or in you each youtube session okay uh, stay tuned uh, to this channel please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts if you have any questions provide your comments in the comment box i'll try to reply to your queries thank you